Well, my Super Duty just started uh, acting up. I'm, uh, I noticed that slowly accelerating off a, from a stop sign, uh, there was one cylinder missing until it got up an RPM, I don't know, 1,500, 1,700 RPM, uh, then it would pick up again. But uh, it was enough miss at a, at through a code and turned on the engine warning light. It was uh, putting out a P0304 uh, cylinder four misfire. So let's pull pull off uh, cylinder four's coil and move it over to say cylinder five or something and see it at clear codes. See if it persists and maybe it's a bad coil. Maybe we have to have bad plug or. Uh, Maybe we have a bad injector, but we'll test them out one by one. So here we are in the passenger side bank. Starting from the front, that would be one, two, three, four, four all the way in the back against the firewall. And first inspection, everything looks good, plugs are fine. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get a wrench on there and pull that coil out. Don't know how much you'll see from the tripod, but I'll put you up here. Might as well disconnect the battery first. Looks like an 8mm, I'm not sure I can get back in there with uh, my quarter inch impact. Yep, I have to get a socket. Hmm. Mold, molding in the coil pack is not eight millimeter, it must be seven and a half or seven. Get some more thought. Last thing I want to do is have to pull those plugs. Uh, there's no telling uh, how old these plugs are. I bought this truck used. 
162,000 miles on it now. I, I put a couple thousand miles on it since I bought it. Running perfectly. Up until a couple days ago. The four cylinders started missing. Like I said, it only does it on. Uh, at a stop sign at idle when I'm slowly accelerating. Injector wire to uh, make room to pull out the coil pack and lots of dust and gunk dumped out of it. Let me check the wires quickly. Maybe that's my issue. Put some uh, wire cleaner down in those uh, injector plugs. See if that helps. Okay, a little electronic cleaner. Spray those. Uh, spray that injector plug. Since I made that change, I won't swap out the coil pack until we uh, test the truck again. One change at a time. You don't want to go crazy on making changes to, to diagnose it.
because it will drive you crazy if you make too many changes, not knowing which one is doing what. There's a lot of room back here. This is a uh, 5.4 3 valve. Triton engine. A lot smaller than the diesels. Injector plugs, plug uh, for number four cylinder. Put the battery. Start her up. back together, I'll start it up, clear the code, see if it comes back. Bet you thought I forgot that. We'll go ahead and put some of that on. We can go ahead and uh, clear the codes first, I think. Just take you along, show what the code is. No codes are stored in the module. Okay, so disconnecting the battery, remove the code. Yep, time for my oil. The engine light went out. Okay. 
Okay, I'll have to drive around a couple days to see if that comes back. Waiting for the vehicle to spawn. Let's turn. turn key on. Codes found zero. Okay. Until the code pops again, we're done. Just a quick follow-up video. Uh, got a few miles on the F-250 now and uh, haven't had any issues since I uh, got the corrosion out of that number four cylinder injector wire plug. And uh, let's do a cold start here. It was pretty cool last night. Let's see how she does. And still no air on the dash. Still good. No misses whatsoever on startup. And uh, no warning lights. No codes. Good. Looks like a fix. Talk to you later.